On the night of June 21st, 2025, the skies over Iran were clear, but something invisible was already above them. No sirens, no warnings, just seven B-2 spirit bombers flying like ghosts, ready to strike at the heart of Iran's most fortified nuclear bunkers. This was Operation Midnight Hammer, the most secretive and precise bombing run of the 21st century, and you probably never even heard it coming. The target, Iran's heavily protected nuclear facilities at Fordo, Natanz, and Isfahan, deep underground, shielded by concrete, rock, and advanced Russian-supplied air defenses. The weapon, the B-2 Spirit, America's flying phantom, equipped with 30,000-pound GBU-57 bunker busters, guided by satellite and capable of piercing 200 feet of reinforced concrete. The strike began at exactly 2.43 a.m. Iranian time as EA-18G growlers, jammed radar systems, and F-22 Raptors patrolled the skies. The B-2s silently slipped through Iranian airspace, flying from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, refueled mid-air over the Mediterranean. 120-plus aerial platforms used, and 420,000 pounds of ordnance dropped. It wasn't just a strike, it was a message to Tehran, and to Beijing, and Moscow that even in the age of satellites, AI, and cyber warfare, the skies still belong to the United States. Caught off guard, Iran's air defenses, S-300s and Bavar 373s were activated after the first explosions. Interceptors were scrambled, surface-to-air missiles fired at unidentified objects, but hit nothing. The stealth worked, the tunnels collapsed, and the Fordo facility, once a symbol of Iranian scientific pride, was reduced to rubble. Iran called it an act of war, but the B-2 had already vanished. So why does the B-2 still reign supreme? Built during the Cold War, still undefeated today. The B-2 spirit isn't just a bomber, it's a psychological weapon. It flies 11,000 plus kilometers without detection, carries nuclear and conventional payloads, and can abort or redirect mid-mission. Even one airframe over a target nation signals that no bunker is safe. Born in the final chess match of the Cold War, the B-2 was designed to slip past Soviet air defense networks and smash hardened nuclear targets. Its flying wing shape and radar-absorbent skin turned the bomber into a ghost long before the world talked about stealth fighters. Its unique flying wing shape minimizes radar cross-section from all angles. No tail, no vertical stabilizers, means no major radar reflections. Jet intakes are buried within the wing using S-ducts to hide the spinning turbine blades from radar, and the exhaust is cooled to reduce infrared visibility. Due to this to most radar systems, the B-2 appears smaller than a bird or doesn't appear at all, can launch from the US and hit a bunker in the Middle East, Africa, or Asia, then return without being seen or intercepted. Its mere presence in a theater creates massive psychological pressure on adversaries. It signals escalation without a single shot fired. B-2s are integrated into US Strategic Command STRATCOM and operate in coordination with RC-135 Rivet Joint for Battlefield Intelligence EA-18, G Growlers for Electronic Warfare, Satellites, and AWACS for Long Range Surveillance. This enables synchronized operations across domains. In short, the B-2 is the Ferrari of bombers, but it comes with a price. Critics call it a billion-dollar diva. Each B-2 costs $2.13 billion. That's more than the GDP of some small countries. One hour of flight requires 119 hours of maintenance. It needs a special hangar, just so its stealth skin doesn't catch a cold. Cost of building and maintaining these hangars, tens of millions per base. According to GAO and U.S. Air Force estimates, its per-hour operating cost is $150,000 per hour. This includes fuel, B-2 mission personnel, pilots, analysts, support staff, spare parts, airframe wear, and stealth upkeep. Over 1,200 ground crew personnel were involved, including logistics, maintenance, 
cyber, and intelligence cells. It's not just a bomber, it's a flying ecosystem. Due to high costs, B-2 crews train more in simulators than in actual flights. Real flight training is limited to preserve the airframe and reduce costs. Simulators are custom made, costing millions to operate and update. The B-2 is like a high maintenance celebrity on a world tour. Brilliant, beautiful, and absurdly expensive to keep happy. Critics call it a diva, but when you need to destroy a target buried under a mountain without starting a war, there's nothing better. Despite sky-high costs, the B-2 is justified strategically due to first strike capability with little to no enemy warning. Access to denied airspace without need for said, its ability to hit hardened underground nuclear sites and global range and psychological impact on adversaries. A single B-2 can do what 50 cruise missiles might not and do it without triggering a full-blown war. Only the forthcoming B-21 Raider promises to blend equal stealth with lower sustainment costs and optional unmanned operations, but it has yet to see combat. The B-21 Raider was developed under the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB program, which represents a leap in generation. Built with open architecture design, it integrates AI mission planning, electronic warfare capabilities, hypersonic payload potential, optional unmanned operation, the Raider is designed not only to avoid detection, but also to operate autonomously in contested environments, similar to the current operation carried out. It will replace the B-2 by the 2040s, but the B-2 spirit will keep haunting enemy radars for another decade. But here's the question we all want to ask. Can it destroy the Earth? The short answer, no. But it can change the balance of power on it. In theory, Dozens of urban or hardened strategic targets can be eliminated by a full squadron strike in a first strike scenario. The B-2's power lies more in its precision, stealth, and psychological deterrence than in planetary destruction. It wasn't designed to wipe out all of the continents. It is built to silently sneak past radars and hit at the heart of an enemy's nuclear command structure with surprise and even escape before the retaliation hits them. Moreover, Nuclear doctrine and arms control treaties make the use of such weapons extremely unlikely outside an existential war. So, while it cannot destroy Earth, it can very much influence who controls it. The B-2 isn't just an aircraft, it's a message written in silence, a whisper above your radar, a shadow over your nation's most secure secrets. And by the time you detect it, it's already gone, three decades old yet still rewriting the rules of air power. So, is the spirit a priceless guardian or a billion dollar diva? Tell us below. Hit the like button if you felt the chill of the ghost in the sky, and subscribe for more deep dive defense stories. Until next time, stay sharp, stay stealthy.